What's up, people? It's Friday, and I had to do a live. Me and my dog, Zena. <laughs> oh my god, she's so cute. We are waiting for our burger fi to arrive here at my home. And I think this is it. Like, I so have to show you guys. Let me see how do I flip this camera. Out the window, and the burger fi arrived at my door. Yes, and he is passing my house. Because he doesn't know. Yeah, thanks, Uber Eats. I am literally going to tell you guys the truth. <sighs> I know you guys must think I work out all the time. Because, you know, I'm one of the owners of Tight Medical Center. And that's what I'm supposed to do. But I kind of don't. And I don't eat right. My son listens to 70s music. But my burger fry is here. That's all that really matters. This guy is so lost. What a dummy. Anyways, let's turn the lights on for this guy so he just like, hey, oh my God, that might be a house. Anyways, so I want to go live. Say what's up to you guys. I was able to get my lashes done today for the first time in a while. So I feel so beautiful about myself. But we actually had a commercial that we did today and we did some shots today and everything so I was super excited about that and um, I was very scared to get my lashes done I think Julie was just as scared to do my lashes but she is the best lash artist and makeup artist on the planet this guy is still lost guys I want to know how long it's going to take him to get me my damn burger five and this is how you get negative ratings this is how you get negative ratings is when you show up with cold french fries from Burger Fi. Who wants cold french fries from Burger Fi? No one! So anyways, I hope everybody's having a wonderful Friday. I've come to the realization, I do want to put this out there, because I've seen um, a post, I won't say who, but I did see a post about, like, you know, having haters and, oh, I have this abundance of haters and, all these haters are hating on me and stuff. So usually when you, like now I finally get it. Like if you have haters, you usually don't talk about it. Could you believe that? You just don't talk about it. You don't talk about it if you have haters. You just have haters. You know you have haters. It's just not something you talk about because it's just not something you talk about. So I figured I would just call that out real quick. John, can you believe this? Whatever. Everybody say hi to Peter. What movie you want to see tonight? Endgame. Pokeland. Pokeland. I didn't understand the Pokemon movie to begin with. I couldn't understand Pokeman the Pokemon movie. I couldn't understand the Pokemon movie if you paid me. I know, I, I'm horrible. Well, you know, I guess our burger fry is in here. I'm not coming back downstairs, and so I'll make John come back down here because this is just way too much cardio for me. I do get asked all the time if I work out, and I tell everybody all the time that I don't because I would be a liar if I said that I did. Right, John? Yep. John, I want my... Oh, it's burger fine. She, she did eight circles before she came here. She's lucky. She looks like a nice lady. Uh, Pikachu actually was really cute in that movie, Xavier. Like, super cute. Like, one of those little things you want to, like, pinch and grab, like, a little stuffed animal. Watch her be like, oh, my God, why you have the door open? Oh, my God. Hi! Hi! You have my food? Burger pie? Awesome. That's okay. I'll just take it from here. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Oh Jesus, Lord. Come on, Zoe. Zoe. John, come and control your animals. Mm. Okay, come on. Come on, Zoe. Come on. Zoe, heal. Oh my God, I can't. This is why I don't, I don't have animals. Come on, Zoe. Come on, Zoe. Come on. Mmm, John. 
and I'm live. Come on, Zoe. Yes, good girl. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Oh my gosh, what a horrible. Just to get some burger by? Guys, this is complicated. Get up the stairs, don't even look at me. You know I'm not supposed to go outside, stupid. Hi, Rachel. Oh my God, where's my baby? I'm waiting for Roman. I know that you want this, Rachel. Look. It's burger fi. Nom noms. Except my french fries are cold because the lady did like 80 circles around, around the block before she could figure out where I lived. Anyways, the point to the live, besides the fact that I had to go on here and realize that my dog would run out here with this lady and I'm trying to get some burger fi to let you guys know that it's always okay to have a cheat meal. Cheat meals are okay. You're allowed to have cheat meals. You're allowed to eat whatever the hell you want, to be honest with you. And um, just take care of yourself, you know? So make sure you take care of yourself. Look, it's one of my favorites, Matthew Wolf. And another one of my favorites, Dolores. So John does this, right? He like defrosts like 100 steaks and then he cooks them and like, then I get to eat breakfast in the morning. And then I go on Uber Eats at like 11 o'clock at night going, hey, guess what? I got you a cheeseburger and french fries. Who's gonna turn down a cheeseburger and french fries at 11 o'clock at night on a Friday? No one, right? So anyways, that's what you gotta do. You have to enjoy life a little bit, right? And I personally, I like to enjoy life. Just a little bit. I only work 20 hours a day to enjoy life. Anyways, I hope everybody, you had five cheeseburgers. Okay, Craig, I think it's a little, I think it's a little much. Okay, I think that there might be some cholesterol issues going on. We might need to run a lipid panel on you to make sure you're gonna be okay. Just a little bit. Pizza, yes, french fries, yes. We won't even talk about what's in this bag because I know there's some chili in this bag and I'm like, yeah. The only crappy part about this is that my french fries are probably soggy. I'm not happy about that. But you know what? Somebody that has common sense, which is so incredibly difficult to find nowadays for some very strange, odd reason that might be, would put the oven on 450, or maybe even broil, and shove the french fries in the oven for like a couple minutes. And then you have crispy french fries. Even though your Uber driver took eight turns around the block. And that's why they're cold. Only two doubles. <laughs> You're so funny. Dolores, I hope you have a happy, happy Mother's Day. You can consider me one of your adopted children. You're always on here, and I do consider you like an adopted mom. So anyways, Peter, go take a shower. I can smell you from the kitchen, please. This is what it's like to be a mom on a Friday night. Mom at Tight Medical. Order Burger Five, number one. Number two, take your child to go see Pikachu. Pokey Land. Number three, tell your child that he smells so he would go take a shower. Number four, check the bar of soap to make sure that your child actually washed himself with the soap. Number five, check his toothbrush to make sure he actually brushed his teeth. But he doesn't know we actually check the toothbrush, right? He'll figure it out sooner or later. It's kind of like a Santa Claus thing. He really busted me out on the Easter Bunny the other day. You know, I tried to tell him that, <laughs> this is horrible by the way. I do, I'm gonna share this with you guys and then I'll share it on my like whole thing here. Thanks Craig. What's up Matt? So anyways, listen. I tried to be like the savior, like Captain save a Easter Bunny. Peter, turn that down for a second. I'm trying to tell them about your Easter Bunny story. What? Turn it down. No. Peter John Sikoris. Thank you. I turned it down. So anyways, like I was saying, I was trying to tell Peter, because I think he's old enough now. now I'm not being a bad mom by doing this. I'm just being realistic. I was trying to tell him about the Easter Bunny for Easter. And I was like, listen, dude, that bunny, that bunny is me. 
me and your dad. That's the bunny. And I thought that, that he was legitimately <laughs> Captain Easter. I thought that I was like playing like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him, you know? You guys would not believe what this kid tells me, right? And I'm not lying because he's like sitting five feet away from me and could probably hear every word I'm telling you. So if I am incorrect, he will correct me. So listen, I'm telling him like, you know, the Easter Bunny, just so you know, the Easter Bunny isn't real. I'm like all those Easter baskets and all that candy and all that cool stuff you used to get. Yeah, that was because me and your dad got it for you. I just want you to know that. So then I was trying to ease him into the whole Santa's not a real thing. And you know, he beat me to it. Do you know that this kid, do you know what this kid told me? He broke my heart as a mom. He told me, he said, that's okay, mom. I already knew that. And I'm like, you did? I'm like, dude, you're not even 10 years old yet. And he's like, oh yeah, I totally knew that. I'm like, okay, well, it's good to know you know that the Easter Bunny isn't real. He's like, oh yeah, that's right, by the way, Santa isn't real either. I know that you guys wrap the presents in separate papers, so it looks like it's from Santa, but it's really from both you guys. And I'm like, he had me? Like, I didn't even know what to say. And I am very, very seldomly speechless. But he did have me speechless for just a moment. Just a very small moment. I didn't know if I wanted to laugh or if I wanted to cry. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do. All I knew is that my bubble was popped because I'm like, he knew. <laughs> so of course then I had to ask him, I'm like, so how exactly no! was it? How exactly was it that you knew that Santa wasn't real? Like, what are you talking about? And why didn't you tell me that you knew? So then he decided to tell me that, oh, well, I thought you and dad enjoyed it. So I didn't want to ruin it for you. And I'm like, ruin it for me? He told me he Googled. Oh, now he's coming up because he heard his name. He told me he Googled Santa. And Santa on Google, I guess, I need to do my research, that apparently it says on there that your parents lied to you and that Santa's not real. That Google tells you this. I never said that. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Don't put any words in my mouth. Right. Okay. See this water? It follows you. If I was drinking this, this is how much word she's putting in my mouth. Right. Right. That's exactly what took place. So anyways, he popped my bubble and told me that he already knew about Santa. And I don't know how long he's known about Santa, but I went out of my way to wrap his presents in two separate wrappings from Santa and from me. Except I would always make sure that the best presents came from me because duh. So now he'll know that all the presents are for mom and dad. Right? I already know it from the start. <gasps> That's horrible. That breaks my itty bitty heart. I think when I was six years old, I found He's out. He's lying. Jeff, did you hear God. this? I want to know when Cherie found out that Santa wasn't real. You need to text me that. Chrissy, you got to tell me when Santa wasn't real because I want to know. Now I want to know how many people found out that Santa wasn't real. I mean, I think I was probably about... I think I was like nine. And then I purposely ruined it for my brother and I told him. And he was only like four. <laughs> Actually, you always That was not nice. <laughs> guys, guys. So, uh, way, uh, uh, you're gonna stay off my life, okay? Why? My question, the old white guy Let came up, oh my goodness. Let that was kind of scary, actually, Jay. And um, so yeah, an old white guy come in the house, that would be kind of scary. Coming down your uh, chimney or whatever it is. So you get to go to the mall and pictures of both of them. Yeah, so now I look at Santa, to be honest with you, I saw Santa at the mall the last time we went for Christmas and I was like, ugh. I wasn't sure what Santa was wanting at that time. He definitely wants some people to sit on his lap. And maybe not children. Anyways, I'm gonna end tonight's live because I've, I think I've spoken enough for tonight. But I did want to share my burger fry story with you guys. I was waiting on burger fry. I wanted to show you guys. Like I was literally sitting on my bean bag at my window waiting on my burger fry just to watch this lady drive by four or five times before she found my house for me to go and put my french fries in the oven so they don't taste like total shit. Hi. And Zena says hi. Hi. 
She's the cutest dog ever, right? See, she's the, she's the animal that made me like animals. She is the animal that she did it. Up, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Gotta love the family. Family time on a Friday night. Tell, tell, tell wifey I said happy Mother's Day. I hope all of you guys have a wonderful Mother's Day. I probably am not gonna do another live for the rest of the weekend because I need a break and I'm tired. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all you amazing moms. Zena says happy Mother's Day and Peter says happy Mother's Day Hi. too. I hope all of you guys have a wonderful weekend. And at some point, just indulge in a burger or maybe some french fries or a pizza. It's not gonna kill ya. Okay? Okay. <laughs>